Here we are at J. Andrews Bridal Shop in Peachtree City, Georgia, looking for the perfect wedding dress. For me? Gotcha. Yeah, I like it, but I feel like not for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like it's more of a... You're going to know when it's her dress. You're gonna oh, yeah. See. Now, while this one is absolutely beautiful, to me it has too much lace since I'm going to have six of my dogs there. I know one of their nails will get caught. Paddles everyone. Paddles everyone. Paddles everyone. I feel like you're like dancing with stars or something. Like, <laughs> that. Score the words. Mm. I like the dress. I don't want the sleeves. But the yeah. sleeves, I would think, would be better solid. Yeah, like I don't the material want sleeves, on the bottom. I feel like this one While this dress is a little bit better, I like the solid material bottom much better. However, for me, it still has too much embellishment on the train and on the top of the dress. I like a much more simple, elegant look, which is the same thing kind of going on with this dress. Now, I will say the sleeves that my stylist pulled for these last two dresses are exactly what I'm looking for. I just don't feel like they go with the dress itself, so we'll keep looking. Now, this was the dress that my future mother-in-law pulled and my cousin agreed with, and the second I put it on and saw it, I just had the best feeling in the world and knew this is the one. Okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta get it. <laughs> Not only does this one have an elegant train, but the buttons going up the back are beautiful, combined with the simplistic look, but the rhinestone sash around the waist is perfect. Now we are headed to the back to try on some veils and tiara. And then for veil, would you do something like the length of the train, something a little bit shorter? Now we did decide on a shorter veil so that it wouldn't cover too much of the beautiful back. Yeah. Say yes to the dress. Said yes to the dress. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm in my living room right now. I'm filming this a couple of days after we went and did our shopping for my wedding dress. And I just kind of wanted to catch you all up on how the entire process went since I didn't get to vlog a lot of it. So we went to J. Andrews Bridal in Peachtree City, Georgia, and I went with Renee, which is Corey's mom, Corey's brother, Chase's girlfriend, Kelsey, my sister, Avi, and my cousin, Angel, and we found the perfect wedding dress. So when we got there, we had a two o'clock private appointment, so we had the entire store to ourselves, and my personal stylist for the day actually came in there and kind of walked me through the process since of course i had never been wedding dress shopping before she kind of asked me what i was looking for and i showed her a picture of what exactly i had in mind even though they no longer carry the disney fairy tale weddings collection i just wanted something similar to the dress that i had seen and i'll insert a clip of the dress here it's an absolutely beautiful dress and of course since they didn't have that exact one i understood that i just wanted something kind of similar something a little simple elegant not something that my dog's nails would get in and she pulled three or four dresses for me to try and i just was not really feeling them they were all a little too over the top for me the first one, as you saw, was lace, and that would not work with having dogs at all. And that's important to me because they're going to be in the wedding and because Heidi Nan is actually walking me down the aisle. So I don't want their nails to get snagged in it and it to rip their nails off or to ruin my dress. So that was just not the look for me. It didn't look like me, didn't feel like me. And then the rest had a little too much going on, like too many embellishments. I just wanted something classic and simple for my wedding day. So after she pulled a few, I think she was trying to give me the experience of wedding dress shopping and not pull like exactly what I would love right off the bat. Since they were nothing like I was thinking, Corey's mom went and pulled a dress that she liked for me that she thought I would really, really like. And then Dominique, the stylist, went and pulled that in a size that I could try on. And the second I put it on, I knew that was the one. As you can see in the video, my face just lights up. It was exactly what I was looking for. 
Now, originally, if you can tell, the sleeves are clipped on in the last dress, which is going to be my wedding dress. It doesn't come with sleeves, so they're going to add the sleeves on because we are having a December wedding and I didn't want to be freezing cold. But the reason the sleeves hang down the way they do is so that you can still see, I have a tattoo, as you see in the footage, on the back of my right shoulder and that is for my dad who passed away. And then on this arm, I have all of, well, I say all, six out of however many animals at this point we have, I have their paws tattooed on me. So those were my original six before Corey and I ever met. They were my original family, and we've just kind of kept adding on, and I don't really have enough space to put all of their paws, but the reason I mention that is our Matthias that passed away, his paw print shows, and that was something that I absolutely loved. Not to mention the dress and the sleeves, like it just looked like something my dad would have absolutely loved, which is really what made me cry when I put that dress on because it just, it felt right and it felt like he was there with me. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through a little bit of the wedding dress experience. Like I said, after I found the dress, Dominique took us back to another room where I could try on veils. And I have a tiara that I've actually already purchased, but I tried one on there just to kind of see how the veil looked with it since I had forgotten mine at home. And it looked amazing. As you can see, the veil is a little bit of a shorter veil. I didn't want it too long for dogs to step on. That's already going to be enough hassle with the train and plus I didn't want to cover up all of the buttons on the back because I absolutely do love those. Let me know if you are currently wedding dress shopping or if you're about to start wedding dress shopping. So, but yes, share with me your experience if you've already been, if you have an upcoming wedding dress appointment. It is all an exciting time. I am sharing much more footage of this over on my Instagram, Rebecca Lynn underscore GA. And then if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would go ahead and click subscribe and become a part of my YouTube family. I know I say this every single time, but I love to connect and interact with you. And I would hate for you to miss out on any of the upcoming wedding stuff. There will be much more in the future. We are going out of town this weekend. We're going to be up in Tennessee. So I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging while we're there. And then we come back and we have our engagement party. So there's a lot going on. But until I catch you up next time, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I will see you later. Bye.